any tips on how to get through the first few weeks until it becomes a habit? Yes. So any schedule, doesn't matter what schedule it is, is challenging at the start. The best thing that you can do is focus on the timing of your schedule and not tweak your schedule. I know it's tempting to do when we're getting started because it's more of a psychological challenge and we feel like, oh, maybe we can't do this or maybe if I shift it here and shift it there, it might feel easier. But really that actually makes it more challenging. So something that I would recommend, especially on a fresh start, a restart, or it's newly starting your journey, is setting alarms on your phone. So I do an alternate day fasting schedule most of the time. And so I will set an alarm two hours before I start my fast. Not when I start my fast, two hours before, because I find that that way I'm reminded and more mindful about me starting my schedule. I am not rushing to have my last meal and eating poorly. Uh, and I'm thinking through kind of, my, you know, I'm mentally preparing for my fast to get started. It doesn't feel rushed, it doesn't feel panicked. I feel good about starting my fast. Uh, when I break my fast, even if I don't feel hungry, at the start of my journey, I will still break my fast at that time because a lot of it is really just getting your, your body into a rhythm. The more you can remind it that it's starting at a certain time, it's breaking a fast at a certain time, it's eating at a certain time, it's going to bed at a certain time, the easier intermittent fasting is going to feel for you. Every fast that we get complete is one step closer to our body getting more efficient at burning fat for fuel and getting into ketosis. And the sooner and quicker we can get into that, the easier fasting feels. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is it typically takes our bodies three weeks to get into something called appetite correction. So that's just a milestone where our body intuitively tells us how much it needs and what it needs, and what types of foods it's craving and that sort of thing. So um, that is just from like a high level things to think about and keep and stay mindful of.